they soon be entitled to a no interest home loan. Yeah, you heard what I said. While American citizens can no longer afford theirs. You know what? I'm tired. I went to the grocery store last night, picked up a pack of chicken wings, y'all. They were on sale for $20. I said it. Yeah, $20. The original cost at the register, they told me it was $29.99. $30 for a dang pack of chicken wings. And for everybody on my timeline, y'all get in here because I want to talk right to y'all. For everybody on my timeline talking about what has Trump done for you as a black woman? What has he done? What has he done for Americans? Ooh, please come here. His policies allowed me to buy six bags of groceries versus two bags of nothing on the camula and Joe Biden. And y'all come here. Tell me what in the Biden Harris is going on in Massachusetts? Hmm? Oh, you ain't heard? Students without bus service as Massachusetts funds buses busing migrants. We got our kids out there hitchhiking to school while illegal immigrants are using the school buses. Oh my goodness. Oh my good Kamala. Kamala, where you at? And don't y'all tell me she's not the president. She's just the VP. <laughs> y'all know what? Kamala been running this show for God only knows how long. Why would I say that? Mm -hmm. I'm about to say it. Because Biden been on vacation. All his lights been on and nobody ain't been home. But what's Kamala's problem? She has an opportunity right now to show us how qualified she is to run this country. She has an opportunity to show us right now in real time. We are from crisis to crisis, from crisis to crisis. And apparently, we have people at the helm without problem-solving skills. What have Trump policies, what has he done? Y'all, charity begins at home. And that's all I got. Hey, welcome back to Greatest Media. Thanks so much for joining me. It's Chris Highland Show. Really appreciate everybody rolling up. Hey, we have a great show for you tonight. It's going to be short. I got stuck, uh, still traveling, left Paris, got stuck in London uh, because American Airlines evidently can't maintain their airplanes. But that's another story, different day. But we've got a great video. Donald Trump did a rally. And in that rally, the snippet of his speech was absolutely spot on to what most Americans are feeling. Donald Trump, Love him or hate him, he does have the ability to put his finger on the pulse of what generally the public thinks. And when I mean the public, I don't mean the Washington or the Democrat knucklehead elitists or you know somebody on the other fringe. The rank and file, the construction guy, the union worker, the truck driver, the guy who's, who's out busting his butt in sales for a living, the regular everyday Americans. He's got that knack. And that's that's just a talent. That's not something you can teach. But you've got to see this video because he just lays it out so wonderfully. So without any further ado, if you could, please just do me a favor and smash that like button. There's no cost for these. We don't charge admission. But the only cost of admission we ask for is please right now, if you're watching, hit that like button. You are awesome. Really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to dive right into this video. Let's go. He writes, here's what we know about... Comrade Kamala Harris, she just doesn't care about the American people, especially hardworking, middle-class Americans. She just doesn't give a damn about you. She does not care about the deaths, sex slavery, drugs, criminals coming across our border. She has been vice president for nearly four years, and she did nothing to stop it. All she does is complain. She says it's not her job, but it is her job. She does not care about the middle class struggling over inflation, the cost of gasoline, electricity, or the cost of food. She does not care if you lose your job or cannot find a job. She does not care if you have to run up your credit card. She does not care if your family are struggling and she did absolutely nothing to fix it. She's the vice president, but she just does not care. She absolutely doesn't care. So many times, so many people have asked the question, what are you going to do on your first day? Dana Bash did it. 
Some of these other knuckleheads have asked it rhetorically because obviously Kamala's not answering any questions except that stupid ass puff, puff piece that Dana Bash did. Please watch our video on that. But the question going around so many people's minds is, what are you going to do day one? What are you going to do day one? Realize that for Kamala Harris, day one was 1,470 days ago. Kamala Harris has been in office since 2020. And frankly, she's probably been running the show since 2021 because that's when clearly Joe Biden descended into complete oatmeal brain status, when he could not literally get out of bed and know where he was. So every policy that you have seen roll down the pike in the last three years has been 100% Kamala Harris. The Green New Deal, the Inflation Reduction, actually the Inflation Increase Act, or as some in Congress like, like, like to put it, the, uh, the Fund Radical Terrorist Act. But anyway, the Green New Deal, the Inflation Reduction Act, the debacle uh, open border, the two quasi-world wars that we're facing right now in the Middle East and Ukraine, all of these are Kamala Harris policies. And they are her policy failures in the case of the economy failing, and they're her policy intentions. I think they absolutely intended to get us in a war with Russia. I And I know for a fact they absolutely intended to keep the border open to let every single drug dealer, human trafficker, terrorist, criminal into the country. I know that because they flew 300,000 of them a year in from Venezuela, Nicaragua, Cuba, El Salvador, direct from their prisons and their mental institutions. It was called early parole. That was a Kamala Harris, Joe Biden policy for the last four years. So do not tell me that any of this stuff is a mistake. This is intentional. She does not care about women's rights because she supported destroying women's sports and athletic scholarships. She wants men to play in women's sports. She does not care about protecting little children from sex change operations because she chose Tampon Tim as a running mate who believes the state, not mothers and fathers, should have the final say on sex change operations for their children. And it's even worse for Tampon Tim. Do you realize that he just repealed a law in Minnesota, the Born Alive Act, which at least mandated that if, they, if a baby well, uh, they attempted to abort a baby and that baby survived the procedure, you had to provide the baby with all reasonable medical care. Do you realize that Tampon Tim, anti-life Tim, I want to kill babies in the womb, I want to uh, mutilate them after birth, and I want to destroy their lives forever, Tampon Tim repealed the act to clapping harp seals of women behind him now happy that they can actually murder their baby outside the womb. That's how sick these people are. Kamala Harris does not care about you. She does not have your values. She has the same, as she said in her interview, at least 10 times, she has the same values she has always had. And those values are anti-life, anti-baby, anti-child, anti-capitalist, anti-constitutional republic, and anti-American. Please smash that like button and let's keep going. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe that? Kamala Harris wants to outlaw your car and truck and force you to buy electric vehicles, whether you like them or not, whether you can afford it or not, and they don't go far. She does not care how it impacts you or your family. Kamala Harris does not care about senior citizens because she believes illegal aliens should receive Social Security and Medicare, which she knows will bankrupt those insurance programs, making it impossible for you to receive your pension and health care, which you paid for for your entire working life. That's true. She wants to destroy your private health care, even if you like it, even if your employer contributes to it. And she wants Washington, D.C. to make your medical decisions. She wants Washington to decide what procedures and medicines and care you should receive. Whether or not you like it is not important. Kamala Harris had nearly four years to show us who she is. She is an uncaring politician with a radical ideology. 
She is a Marxist. Despite her campaign of lies and flip-flops, we know who Kamala Harris is. We know by her actions and we know by her inaction. We know she does not care about working people, about the middle class, about any of our great American citizens. She does not respect you. Ask the families of the 13 service member heroes who died during the surrender of Afghanistan if Kamala Harris cares about our young people. No. And go one step further. Ask anybody who supports Kamala Harris the last time that Kamala Harris mentioned any of the 13 dead heroes' names. To date, not in any video, not in any speech, not in any statement, has Kamala Harris ever mentioned one of the 13 dead heroes of Afghanistan's name one time. That's how out of touch, that's how aloof, elitist, and corrupt these people are. Kamala Harris answers to only one master. And that master is Satan. But let's pull it down a notch. She, ma she answers to only one master here on earth, and that is the globalist cabal of corruptocrats who have installed her exactly where she's at who have put her as the Democrat nominee without so much as one single primary vote, not one. Kamala Harris has never mentioned those dead heroes' names. Kamala Harris does not care about American citizens. She is constantly putting illegal aliens over the top of them and preferring them, preferring them for housing kickbacks, preferring them for $18,000 a month, preferring them for free health care. No, Kamala Harris does not care about America or American citizens. And she certainly doesn't care about minorities. Remember, this is the same woman who tr blasted Joe Biden for being a segregationist, a racist, uh, for his statements about the urban jungle, about not wanting to desegregate schools, for his actions in supporting and befriending every segregationist senator out there. And then as soon as she was out of the race, getting destroyed by Tulsi Gabbard and was offered a vice presidency, she completely forgot about all of Joe Biden's racism. Don't forget. Just ask them that question. Does she care about our military? The answer is no. Ask the cops in the street trying to protect you from murderers, rapists, and thugs if Kamala Harris cares about law-abiding citizens. Ask the families of women raped and murdered by illegal aliens and the teenagers cut to shreds by gangs from El Salvador and Venezuela, if Kamala Harris cares about you. Harris has opposed school choice for poor inner city kids. She's opposed police in schools to protect your children. And she's defended stocking school library shelves with filthy graphic books. She refused to prosecute pedophiles who molested your children. When she was DA and AG in California, two places she absolutely destroyed. Does this sound like someone who cares about children? <laughs> Kamala Harris has failed you. She has failed as vice president. She has broken trust with you. She has done nothing for the middle class working families. She's done nothing even for hardworking people. Your eyes don't lie. You see it. We all see it. She's sitting as the vice president of the United States, and yet nobody knows who the hell she is. She does not give a damn about you. This is the real Kamala Harris, and now she wants a promotion. Well, I'm here to give her a demotion, not a promotion. 100%. Trump is right on with this one. She does not care. She does not care. She does not care. The mantra needs to get drilled into everybody's head. She doesn't care about America. She doesn't care about working people. She doesn't care about children. Just to, just to emphasize the doesn't care about children part, realize that she runs around talking about how she prosecuted transnational crime groups, uh, which is highly suspect. But anyway, uh, she runs around touting that. And in California, they decriminalized 24-year-olds having sex with 14-year-olds, 22-year-olds having sex with 12-year-olds, as long as the age difference 
was 10 years or less, no longer on the sexual registry. That's what Kamala Harris was doing as AG. And just to add a little bit of emphasis, I want to show you a fairly quick video. It's going to make your blood boil. Believe me, because it certainly did mine. You've got to see this video about the 300 children at the border. This is so telling about who Kamala Harris is. This border problem doesn't just let drug traffickers and fentanyl and all sorts of criminals in. Listen to what has happened to the kids. Here we go. 300,000, 300,000 minors that have crossed that border under the tutelage of your border czar, Kamala Harris, are unaccounted for today. Unaccounted for today. This is an official report from the inspector general saying they cannot monitor all these unaccompanied minors. They don't know where they are. What a tragedy. They don't know if they're human trafficking. They don't know if there's human slavery. They don't know what's going on with these children. They don't know where the hell they are, frankly, and it's outrageous. This report just dropped yesterday afternoon. I can't believe it's not headline news everywhere, but I'll bring it to you. And I will tell you that 300,000 kids are somewhere in America today unaccounted for. What do you make of that? I think it's one of the saddest elements of this broken border. Uh, we can talk about the, uh, the some of the crime that's hit the streets. You can talk about the overload in the schools and the hospital and the local authorities and, and, and just really that impact. But we talk about the potential sexualization of kids and the tra sex trafficking of kids. That That's a whole another uh, topic and that's a whole another um, ball game of how we should re be reacting to that right now this is a this is a cultural problem that if for whatever reason if we're if we're culturally okay with this then we've got a major problem i can understand uh disagreeing on policy hey we're always going to disagree on policy but if we can't disagree the fact that these kids are missing and potentially being sex trafficked across this country Steve, Michelle, that is a moral problem with this country, and I don't know how you get that. Well, I do know how you get that back. Uh, we, need, we need Jesus to return, well, and we need more people to, to, to yeah, find let, the let Lord. Let me share but, with something uh, here. 100%. Where is Kamala Harris speaking out about the 300,000 missing children who are undoubtedly being trafficked either into slavery, whether it's sexual or not? They have been trafficked across the border. Kamala doesn't give two rips about them because she doesn't care. When you go back to the beginning, Kamala doesn't care about killing babies in the womb. She does not care about uh, mutilating them after the womb. She loves the idea of socially transitioning them to the detriment of their psyche, of chemically transitioning them to uh, making them sterile and completely just and destroying their body from the inside out, and to medically, surgically transition them so that they are go through essentially gender mutilation surgery as minors when they cannot consent. So she does certainly doesn't care about that aspect. And she obviously doesn't care about human trafficking either. She decriminalized it in California, and she doesn't care that it's happening at the border. And the fact is, we as Americans need to be talking about those 300,000 kids 100 times a day. We need to keep it in front of America that not only does the border represent what's going on in Colorado and Aurora with violent Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment buildings, not only does it represent what, what happened to Lake and Riley and Rachel Marin and Jocelyn Nungare, the sexual assault and murder of multiple, multiple hundreds of women across this country, not only does it represent 100,000 fentanyl deaths a year, 400,000 Americans dead since Kamala Harris took over, it represents 300,000 children who have now come across that border and been sent into some type of of human trafficking. And this needs to be proclaimed to everyone. If you care about this, if you care about children in any way, shape, or form, you must do everything in your power to soundly defeat this evil wretch of a woman. She is demonic. She answers to a globalist cabal of corruptocrats who answer to their father, the devil. I'm going to get a little religious on you here at the very end because that's ultimately where this goes. Because trafficking children is objectively evil and we can't let it happen. We've got to stop it. And the thing that we can do, you and I, beyond donating and you know to causes and, and human trafficking uh, organizations, 
we can get this wretch of a woman out of office. And that starts with us, Courageous Army. That starts with us, everyday American citizens, donating, volunteering, becoming poll watchers, getting out there with our neighbors and fighting and dragging 10 people with us to vote and vote early. If we do that, we can make this thing too big to rig. And then we got to pray. We got to pray that God will have mercy on our country because he is sovereign. He can put anybody in office that he wants. And I believe he's going to give us one more chance, but we got to pray. We got to ask for it because it'll all be good in the end. Guys, men and women, thank you so much. Please, let's get out there. Let's drag 10 people with us to vote. We've got to save our country. Let's get going. Thank you so much. I'm going to roll out of here because it's six hours ahead for me. You guys are awesome. Please get this message out. If you could, if you're in here, please smash that like button. I appreciate everybody. Love you guys. You're the best audience ever. Thank you so much.